Then Full Circle feels production-wise like a My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy moment, but remixed by The Caretaker. Yeah, it's like a dusty, droney, dreamy, atmospheric, depressing, and nostalgic take on <laughs> some beat from that Kanye record. The track Peanut is one of the shortest on this record at just a minute, but the instrumental is so noisy and abstract and deconstructed. It feels like I'm listening to like an ambient noise piece or something off of like a, a caretaker record. There's something about it too that kind of reminds me of the caretaker's music, who uh, is, is kind of well known for at least some of his songs merely being these texturally warped pieces of old ballroom music smothered in reverb. The process of, of creating some of the caretaker's music, in my opinion, is a little uninspired. But at least when I'm not consciously thinking of that, when I listen to the caretaker's music, I do get some auditory pleasure out of it. What is your opinion on the caretaker? I've noticed you haven't reviewed him on your channel. I mean, aesthetically, I enjoy what the caretaker has done in the past, though I'm not really all that crazy about the process of, of the uh, music on the creative side, but that's more of an opinion on the older stuff uh, from the project. I have not reviewed the latest project, which is getting rave reviews, which I should definitely take the time to sit down and digest before the year is over. Uh, we will see if I manage to do that. Uh, I'm not sure if I will, but I guess we will see. Like a, a boring song? A song you can't remember? A song that's Forgettable? I mean, maybe maybe some people, you know, I mean, obviously you prefer, prefer that. What, what do you listen to? It's like, I want to listen to something real forgettable, man. I hate this shit I remember. Everywhere at the End of Time is one of the most groundbreaking records of the past decade. No album has used time and length to convey its themes to quite the effectiveness that this album does, and use its samples to show how effective and powerful manipulation and recontextualization can be. Even albums like the Disintegration Loops require a lot of context to get its theme, and art as effective without it, whereas everywhere at the end of time manages to convey a whole lot without saying much at all. Possibly, maybe, I mean, I've, I've started to listen to the record myself, and I'm not sure if I can entirely agree or disagree with you here, to be totally honest, because before I listened to the album, I like read pretty deeply into like each phase of the album and the whole concept, which honestly I had only heard a bit about before and just kind of knew about in a vague sense. I suppose if I was going to test whether or not what you're saying here is absolutely true, I should have gone to the album without having read anything. Uh, but now that I am part of the way into the record, I, I have kind of spoiled the whole concept for myself. Um, maybe once I hear the entire thing, I'll have a better idea as to whether or not I feel like the experience would have been the same had I not understood anything about it. But, um, you know, the music certainly has a vibe to it that I, I feel like you, you don't necessarily need to to read anything to uh, to get. But would the album's like inspiration point of dementia be apparent to you? Uh, were you not reading into the concept or trying to read into conceptually all of the song titles? Not necessarily. Which is not to fault the art at all or say that it's not a good art or that it's weak because it's a uh, concept and themes aren't apparent to you, don't bang you over the head. I'm just saying like, I mean, you have to admit, the record is pretty abstract, and when you're talking about music in that lane of that style, uh, it's going to be open to interpretation, and when you expose like a large amount of people to that sort of thing, you're going to get a range of responses and ideas as to what exactly it's all about. Feels like I've either dropped acid at a traditional Italian restaurant, or, I don't know, the meme version of the caretakers everywhere at the end of time, but the music that your dementia is taking away from you is Dean Martin. For sure, there are plenty of artists who have shown there's a lot of artistic merit in playing it kind of straightforward or direct in the ambient field. Tim Hecker, Grouper, One Tricks, numerous vaporwave artists, as well as The Caretaker. <laughs> that could be the final one. <laughs> 